Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Plummy or Paige, whichever you prefer to call me. And in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to four different songs. Those being Ayu and her song Love Poem, Zillo, No Title, and two songs which were a continuation of the three songs, three duet songs, which were requested to me by this person. Uh, those songs being Highlight, Geek Wang, and Jung Hyung, and their song... I actually uh, don't know, oh wait, it says Leave Me Alone, I think that's the title of the song. And we're gonna end this video with Yong Jung Hyung featuring 10 centimeters and the song Sun Shower. So without further ado, let's just get into the reaction, starting off with Ayu's love poem in 3, 2, 1. From what I understood, this is from her uh, Blooming album. So I wonder how much I'm actually gonna like it. Because Blooming, I think, is still my favorite Ayo song. Already this song reminds me a little of Stray Kids' Elevator. Actually quite a lot. It, I feel like it gives off the same vibe. So I can already tell you that I like this. Oh my god. Her voice is so beautiful. I love it. 10 out of 10. I f honestly, I genuinely love this song already. It's been barely a minute and I freaking love it. I'll definitely react to it a second time. Honestly, I feel like in this case, the fact that it's a slow song is part of the reason why I love this song. Even though, in general, I am not the biggest fan of slow K-pop songs. Now I'm pretty much required to check out uh, the whole Blooming EP or an album, whatever it is. I'll definitely be checking out, but probably not in the next video. Because the next one is gonna be Gravity's uh, debut. I was going to do it today, but I decided against because I wasn't really into the mood of listening to them. She's killing it right now. What the hell is this voice? Yeah, this is instantly going to one of my uh, to my top ten list of uh, IO songs. I think it might be at this point already number two or number three at least. I'm not sure whether it's the difference in genre or style why I'm loving her 
like newest slow songs more than the, her older one, but that is the case for some reason. Okay, let's get into it uh, one more time in three, two, one. Yeah, instantly, I just love the vibe. It reminds me so much of Elevator, and I freaking love that song. I think it's one of Stray Kids' best songs. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that she's copying them, because a lot of people seem to think that I mean that when I compare something, uh, some artist to another artist. Maybe the chorus here could have been a bit more powerful, like in a power ballad. But I still like it the way it is. Especially because I feel the second half of the chorus is a bit more powerful. So it satisfies that feeling. But she's killing it, like her voice is so beautiful. That's why I love her. Honestly, I might be interested in checking out an acoustic version of this. Maybe not for a reaction, but definitely on my own. To listen to it. Because I feel like this is gonna be even a better song if it was completely acoustic. I freaking love this chorus. It's so beautiful, it's so calm. And I like that this time, the second time the chorus comes, it's a bit more powerful, there's more power in the instrumental, and she sings louder. Because that gives it a bit of an edge, it makes it a bit more interesting, because otherwise it will be a bit too monotone, in my opinion, and too simple. Which I think is one big reason why I tend to not like uh, the slow K-pop songs, because they tend to be the same thing from the beginning to the end. Okay, as I said, it's pretty much a 10 out of 10 song in my opinion. Everything about it is perfect, her voice is perfect, uh, her singing is perfect, the instrumental is perfect, doesn't overwhelm her and actually emphasizes the song whenever her voice itself emphasizes it a bit more during the second half. 
and I do like the second half a bit more uh, than the first half because I feel like it's just more interesting, there's more going on there. But I, I maybe it wouldn't have worked as well if, if the first half wasn't the way it is, so I'm not gonna be too uh, critical of the song because of that. But yeah, I really liked it, and I think I'm gonna be checking out the whole mini album or an EP, I'm not sure what it is, whatever it is. Uh, so, tune in for that. But for this one, personally and objectively, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. And I'm sorry if this is not what I gave to Blooming, because I do believe that song is a 10 out of 10, or at least a 10, a 9.8 out of 10. Maybe I even gave it 12, I don't remember, it was a while ago. Uh, but yeah, I really like this one, and it's a solid B-side in my opinion. Maybe the rest are also just as good, but we're gonna check that out in a different video. So without further ado, let's move on to the next song of this video, that being Zelos, not Taito, which was requested to me by this person literally right before I was going to record the video. So you're lucky that I found out about that. But yeah, uh, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. So, I'm pretty sure this is my first time checking out a song, solo song by Zillow. Honestly, I thought that Zillow was close to rapping style with Suga from BTS, but actually, I think now he's closer to RM or a bit of a combination of, of the two. I love that he also does some vocals in the song. That makes, uh, for me, that's really good because it makes it connect a bit better. I personally prefer whenever he goes more sugar style rather than RM, but honestly, I think he does both really well. Dare I say he even does it, the rap monster style of rapping better than RM, or at least I like it more. And if you don't know exactly what styles I'm talking about, for example, Suga tends to rap fast and pretty much have his sentences be almost the same length. Meanwhile, RM uh, tends to have completely random like three sentences, but he also finishes off the sentences with a rhyme, so it still works as a rap verse, but for me it's not as satisfying if it is perfect. And in this case, I feel like Zello did that more with a different land. Uh, uh, more than he did the sugar style But I honestly think he did it better than RM and it might be because the difference between the lands of his uh, Sentences is not as big as with RM, but I don't know so let's get into the song again in three two one Some 
Instrumental is not good, but I like how it sets the kind of an epic tone to it. Yeah, even though this is not as instantly catchy as I would want it to be, I think I actually like it quite a lot. I love, I really love the vocals that he does here. It's tiny part of the song, but I like it. Yeah, I think he might be one of my favorite upper rappers actually. So I'm definitely interested in checking out more solo songs from him if there are. Okay, so this was a nice little uh, rap song. I actually enjoyed it quite a lot. Not as interesting or as um, impressive on first listen as I would have wanted it to be, I would have preferred it to be, but I think I actually like it quite a lot. Um, I think he did his rapping really well and I think this might be the most I've enjoyed his rapping. There might be some song in which I have enjoyed it more, but now that he's solo here in this, I can focus more on his rapping and honestly I like it quite a lot. I pretty much feel uh, the same way I feel about Suga's rapping, about Zillow's rapping. Uh, and even for Suga there are some songs which are more low-key, catchy and I feel like Zillow in this case has that kind of more low-key, low catchy kind of song, not really the one that really grabs me and forces me to listen to it, but it is a quite uh, nice song to listen to. Uh, but as I said, because it's not uh, instantly catchy, I'm not gonna give it a 10 out of 10, rather I'm gonna give it a 9.4 out of 10 personally, and objectively I think I'm gonna give it a 9.6 out of 10 because I think he does everything really well, he connects the different rap verses really well with the chorus singing part, which I think it's a very important thing in that song because uh, sometimes uh, there might be a bit, for me at least, there might be a bit too much rapping that the song feels a bit disjointed. It doesn't sound bad and it's still a good song, but it just sounds much more connected and complete uh, if uh, there is some melody going into it and, and it's not just rapping. But yeah, I liked it quite a lot. Um, and yeah, I'm interested in checking out more songs from him. So without further ado, let's move on to the next song, that being uh, Di Kwang and Jung Hyung and the song Leave Me Alone. And uh, I'm really curious whether this one and the next song are gonna live up to the expectations set by the last four. 
I think there were 4 or 3, I don't know. Because while there weren't 10 out of 10, or at least I don't think they necessarily were, I might have given them that much, but they didn't blow me away exactly, but I enjoyed them surprisingly more than I thought I was going to. So yeah, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. Okay, what's with Highlight and their non-group songs being better? I don't get that. Because already I enjoy this one more than I think most of their... Specifically talking about Highlight, not Beast. Highlight. Because I feel like the hi their Highlight songs are not really as good as Beast. But this is just as good as their Beast song and I don't get why. I feel like as highlight they focus a bit too much on the ballads. I don't know if that is necessarily the case, but that's how it feels. While with solos and duets like this, I feel like they branch out more. Because this is definitely faster than most of their songs. And it's more happy. Also, this reminds me of the opening theme of a TV series that I watched when I was, I think, about 11 years old. And it was really cool. It was about uh, two teens called Jake and Blake. The show was literally called Ch Jake and Blake. Look it up. Yeah, it is a really fun song. I love how it's mostly happy but has certain sad undertones. It's not quite melancholic but it does have those sad undertones underneath it. I like that. Okay, so in this case I'm not going to be reacting to it a second time because I pretty much got everything I needed on the first listen. Yeah, it's a great song in my opinion, better than most, because at least it feels a bit more memorable because I genuinely don't really remember most of the highlight songs. Maybe there was one or two that I enjoyed, maybe to the point of listening to it a little, but like right now no, no a single song from highlight really comes to mind while well, from beast there's at least two or three but this one is actually pretty much pretty close to like the quality and the uh i mean yeah pretty much close to the quality of the most of the beast song i feel like i don't know it just i enjoy it pretty much as much and it feels closer to that style uh, and yeah, um, personally, I'm gonna give this one a 9.2 out of 10. Um, which actually, now that I think about it, is lower than uh, Zillow. But it's also not exactly the thing that I would uh, listen to frequently the most. Like, it's a fun, playful, happy kind of song, but that's not what I listen to the most, so that's why my score is gonna be a bit lower. 
but objectively I am gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because I think it's a great song if you're a fan of Highlight or Beast I feel like you're gonna enjoy this song very much and yeah there isn't anything really bad about the song I feel like it's genuinely a really good song it's just not what I enjoy the most so yeah uh, let's move on to the last song of this video that being Yong Jong Hyun and his song Sudden Shower in three Two, one. Yep, another one. Another one really good. How did you manage to request me to check out all five really good songs? I was thinking that these were gonna be really bad, honestly. And probably wouldn't really enjoy reacting to them, but I freaking love them, all five of them. This one feels like a relationship kind of song and I always seem to love those Okay, the beginning was really good, but this part here is, lo is losing me a bit, a little. Okay, the chorus is really good. I feel like the first verse kind of lost me a little. It ended up being a bit too simplistic for my taste. Wait, is he a rapper or a singer? Wait, 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 wait a second. I completely forgot that this was a feature too. So, is 10 centimeters sitting during the chorus? Because if that's the case, then I have to rate the rating a bit. Uh, I mean, rate the rapping a little bit different. And consider it a little bit different. Because the rapping is not bad, but I feel like the chorus is where the main role for the of the song is for me. Yeah, that's a very unique voice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is 10 centimeters singing. I, 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 I have to assume. Because the rapping and the singing sound very different and what else would be the feature? I don't think the feature would be big enough to like fill two verses of rapping so I think the singing is 10 centimeters. And yeah, that might be a bit harsh. I mean, I don't think necessarily harsh is the right word but might be unfair but yeah, I actually like the singing much more than the rapping. Although the rapping is not bad, it just didn't really have have the super impressiveness or uniqueness or anything really to draw me into it. Even though it wasn't bad, it, it was pretty good. Like there wasn't anything specifically bad about it, but I don't think there was anything really good about it either. Like super impressive or anything, or that would catch my attention. Meanwhile, the singing, the voice. Whoever it was singing it is really unique. I really like the way it sounded. That's the most memorable part of the song by far. So maybe I'll have to check out 10 centimeter songs because uh, he does show up in my YouTube recommended right now. So yeah, who knows? Um, 
personally, I'm gonna give this one depending, like, if the singing is also done by Young Jung Hyun, I would give it a 9.2 out of 10. If it's not by him, it would be an 8.8 .8 out of 10, personally. Because if the really interesting thing about your song is the feature, I mean, that's not a good thing in my opinion. But that's just me, I just prefer uniqueness over whatever the rapping I, I could call, I don't know. Um, objectively though, I think I'm gonna put the song um, at a 9.6 out of 10 because as I said, the rapping is not bad by any means, but the and the singing is really good, so there's nothing really to complain about this song. And I'm, and I'm genuinely surprised that all these five songs that you requested me to check out were this good. I genuinely expected to not enjoy them at all. But who would have thought, like these uh, duets and collaborations actually sounded really good. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. So yeah, if you guys have any K-pop songs you want me to react to, make sure to comment them down below and I'm gonna add them to my list, though I don't promise when and if I'm going to get to your request specifically. But so far I think I've, pretty, I've done pretty much all of them, maybe I've skipped some, but I don't think that's really the case, so most likely I'm gonna get uh, to the song you want me uh, to react to, but I just don't wanna promise anything. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, also check out the list in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you do end up enjoying my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon or Subscribestar where you can pledge to support and help keep the channel going and help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. And additionally, I just want to mention that all the money you decide to support me with through Patreon, Subscribestar or maybe any other means that you decide to uh, do it will go towards my transition because if you are new to the channel or you just haven't noticed, I'm actually transgender but haven't been able really to transition and um, I'm hopeful that you guys could help me out with that but I don't want to guilt trip you into helping me out so if you don't want to do it that's completely fine you can still help me out in other ways like liking this video subscribing and especially sharing this video but it just would mean a lot to me and it would definitely get a shout out on my channel for that uh, just like how I'm gonna give shout out to my uh, good friend uh, Yuri who has been helping me out for the last, I think at this point, eight months maybe? I don't know, it's quite a lot of time. I probably wouldn't be here without him, so big props to him. And as I said, if you want to do it too, go over to Patreon or preferably subscribe star and donate any amount uh, you are fine with. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!